Okay, here we are again at Don El Audio's a Mexican Hacienda, set in Mexico, of course, in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. In real life, this is the Hacienda de Placitas, about 25 miles northeast of Albuquerque in the town Placitas, New Mexico. At the time that we arrived, we had already talked to an elderly woman that was in there and she said that her daughter owns the place and she's one of the, she's the most recent owner as of the last two years and um we asked her you know we told her well, while we were there and wanted to know if we can get some photos and she said she didn't really care actually i think she just honestly wanted to um us to get out of her hair and she said you know you guys can do whatever you want so we were we had free reign for a good I think up to two hours we might have been there at least an hour and uh, it was just great to see this place as you can see here's a little this is a tour just walking around again this is the end of October so of course the the pool is um, it's got the tarp covering over it now this is a table and chairs that some of the characters would have sat at in some of the scenes, especially in the Salud episode. Lots of the cartel members in and around this area. This is probably around the same, yeah, the table where um, Gus and Max had the meeting with uh, Don Laudio and, of course, Hector, and you know what happens there, right in the center of the pool. This is another very familiar angle. This is where Don Laudio opens his gift from Gus. And it's the infamous Zafiro Añejo, which we all know um, how that ends. Mike and Jesse both sit here around at this table while Gus is standing toward the center of the pool preparing for what he's about, the plan he's about to execute. Here's uh, another angle. That you don't really see anybody or go up here as far as characters, but camera placement is definitely up here because you get this angle right over more to the left. And over here to the right is the door that the characters used to go in and out of the house. You see Gus coming out of that door after he's already vomited the um, poison. So like I said, there was an elderly lady there at the time. She was the only one present. And so she was like, you guys do whatever you want to do. And she was actually kind enough to let us inside to get some footage. I'm going to show you that right now. So this is after coming right in that door I just showed you. To the right, there's this bathroom. I don't think this is the bathroom that was used uh for gus's vomiting but i think it's actually further in this direction mm -hmm. and to the right um it's also likely that it was a set i had heard that they actually put a toilet on the other side of the wall because they wanted they wanted him on that on that side for whatever reason it's been a while since I've heard these stories, but uh, so the bathroom is, is different. We don't ever see any of this. This looks like uh, like living space. And of course, this door, no one comes in or out of this door, but there's a view to the That's pool. Um, so none of this is shown in the show, but this is just from the inside, and you can, you know, there's a view to the pool in that main area outside. Uh, Impossible. <laughs> We got a couple of reenactment reenactments here. I'm gonna show here next, but just kind of covering the, the bit of the inside that we we were able to scope out as fast as possible because you know we were trying to be respectful at the same time. Though there was a plumber there at the time. Look at all look at all the spirit on the liquor there. There was a plumber there at the time working on. <laughs> Donna Ladio Stan. Would you tell her we said thank you? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so we were we were talking to the I think it was an electrician, if I remember correctly. I, I was saying plumber, but I think it was an electrician. Yeah, we're like 
the big dude, uh, Miguel, he takes Jesse to the, or he takes Gus to the bathroom. What hallway was that? You know this one? If it is, it's been We were trying to find the bathroom. You want to get in the shot? No, like in the mirror reflection. You walk. You move that way. They had a cardboard cut out of wall in the house. She shows that to us later. If it is, like I said, it's, it's not, over there. Yeah, it's not. It's not anything. Either. We could not find the bathroom, or or a bathroom that the matched. Came from over here, right? Maybe that door that matched the show. Okay, so now I'll show you with the moment when we interact with the elderly woman inside. She made it very clear she did not want to be on camera. So uh, yeah, here you go. Oh yeah. Oh go take it. Don't take me a picture. No, not you're not in it. No. Just just the the guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, we keep it. Okay. Oh I see. Or you wanna go stand it up over there somewhere? Is this uh is that the same bathroom from the So we were we were trying to get we were trying to get confirmation right on the bathroom. Yeah, the guy he he's uh He's like, yeah. I think he he's acting like he's throwing up the medicine. I don't yeah. know. Have you seen the, the the Have you seen it? The the the, yeah. the show. It's, it's not. It's not. Yeah. That's a monster grill. Mm hmm. It could be in this section too, man. Right. There's no way of knowing. Before you see us get out of here, I'll uh, bring in. I'll show you. Couple of clips of us just having fun in and around the area, reenacting some moments from the the show, and um, that'll be pretty much it. The tour of Don Audio's Mexican Hacienda. I apologize; it took over two years for me to put this up. Gustavo. No, imposible. No, imposible. Zafiro Añejo. La única razón por la cual tú estás vivo y él no es porque yo sé quién eres tú. Entiéndeme bien. No, well, let's get another one with you doing the same thing, and I'm just gonna do this. I might have been too far back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I gotta lay next to you. Gus and Max here, or Gus and Max here? All right, now here's our exit. The shootout. Get was... us out of here, kid. Get us out of here, kid. 
<laughs> Are these still the bullet holes? I'm not sure I even believe that, to yeah. be honest with you. Because they're like squibs, right? That's that's like a drill hole. Yeah, I don't think any of that was. See you later, Donald Audio's pool place. It's been nice. Always, always a hanging out in your pool and getting shot in the head after a few shots of Zafiro and Nehill. Till next time, Placitas, New Mexico. Tear out of here.